Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can bomb your opponent over the top for easy touchdowns against cover three and cover two. If our opponent is gonna sit in one coverage all day and be super predictable, we have to make them pay. And today I'm going to show you how. So today we're gonna to be continuing my Oregon spread offense out of the spread playbook. And we are gonna be working out of the formation spread flex. And we're going over the plays PA deep outs and Y stick. Now these are really gonna tie in with a bunch of stuff I have already already released in this Oregon scheme. I've already went over a glitchy RPO that is going to force our opponent to bring a safety down into the box. That is absolutely going to unlock this cover three one play touchdown and put them in a very tough spot. This is also going to be huge because if they are able to handle our run game up front while keeping two safeties back, we need to be able to beat them over the top if they sit in cover two all day long. And we really have to force them out of this coverage and alter what they're doing. Now, so far, on my membership page, I've already released a really nice pistol mini scheme and a way to beat man coverage out of these spread formations that we're starting this Oregon scheme out of. Now I have a ton more on the way that is going to go up on my membership page and it's really just going to show you how to take this Oregon offense to the next level. So you guys want to check out any of that and don't want to miss everything coming out in the future, I will leave a link to the membership page down in the description below. Okay, let's go over PA deep outs first. This is going to be our cover 3-1 play touchdown. All right, so getting into PA deep outs, this is going to be our cover three beater. Now for the adjustments for this play, guys, we always want to have it on a hash and we want our post here going to the short side of the field. So that's always how we want to have it set up. So basically have our running back to the short side of the field, our post, and then our only adjustments, we want to take the slot receiver on the short side of the field and put him on a hitch. This is really just gonna help pull down the deep blue defenders and keep the user in the middle of the field and not let him help on the deep post. And then our second adjustment, we're gonna take the backside wide receiver and just put him on a drag. This is really just gonna be a check down route for us. So that is the adjustments guys, super easy. And obviously our first read is gonna be the post. This is gonna be our money cover three beater. Okay, now talking about our reads, basically we wanna call this when we know our opponent is in cover three. So we see single high safety right away. That lets us know it's either, you know, 95% of the time, it's either cover three or cover one. So single high, what we're gonna do guys, we are gonna read this backside corner when he drops back. That is gonna be our read. And basically if he keeps dropping back, getting way back on this post, we know they deep half their corner. That is gonna take that away. But if he stops about right here and is kind of just chopping his feet, we're just gonna wait for this backside post to pass this safety's face and we are gonna bomb him over the top. Let's run it. We're gonna watch this corner right here and watch how he just stops his feet here and doesn't keep backing up. See how he just stops his feet, stops his feet. Look, he takes one step back and then he stops again. So when we see that, we know, okay, our beater is gonna be open. So as soon as this post passes this safety's face, now we are just gonna bomb them over the top rack catch it and we are gone now keep in mind this is running it to this side with our tight end but most of the time i actually like to run it on the right half because that is going to put our slot receiver as the one running the deep post so keep that in mind if you have a slower tight end it's always going to be a tight end at on this side of the field so if you want your fast speedy player make sure it's on the right hash. So same thing guys, we're gonna snap the ball here. Now we're just gonna have a ton more speed on this side. So watch this corner, he's stopping his feet. See how he even jumps down even more this time? That is when we know this player is gonna be wide open. Wait till he crosses his face. We get a bit of pressure in our face, but we are able to get it off as soon as he crosses his face and boom, 48 yard touchdown against cover three. Okay, one more, watch the corner on this side once again. Stops his feet, just chops his feet, boom. Bomb them over the top. One play touchdown from 42 yards out. Really guys, you are gonna make your opponent absolutely pay if they just sit back and cover three. Okay, now our next reads guys. I like to throw this hook. If the user runs back, so we see his users on this player here. If the runner user runs back with the post or he blitzes or comes down on the drag or if they're just blitzing all together, that is when I like to throw this backside hit. So this is gonna be our second read. This is really who I like 
like to look at. So snap the ball and we see a heavy blitz coming, guys. We see people dropping off. I just like to throw the hitch over the middle against the blitz or if the user leaves the middle of the field. Okay, then two other reads we can go on, guys. We have this deep out on the short side of the field. Basically, I will throw this. If I see cover three and this safety is dropping all the way back and the flat defender doesn't get underneath this out route, I will throw that. Or if they're playing hard flats, you sense pressure, you just want to get the ball out quick, you can throw that. And then our last three guys, we can obviously just check down to the drag. Now, I don't have any footage of me throwing the drag, but that is very simple. If everything's taken away downfield, check it down. So on this one, just watching this out route right here, guys. Watch the flat defender here. So he just stays shallow here. This hook gets stays inside on our hook. So now we can just throw that right along the sideline. Okay, really quick, guys. I just wanted to hop into practice mode. So this is just a clip I got. See this? See this corner, how he's in this big, deep half. So whenever we see that, like we're not gonna know it pre-snap, but post-snap, watch this corner now. So he's not gonna just chop his feet. I just wanted to show you, same route co combo. See how he gets way back and he's like staying to the inside. So before he was like over here chopping his feet. Now he's way in at the numbers and getting way deeper. So that is when we know this guy is deep halved. If we try to throw that ball in there, he's gonna be right there to make a play. So keep that in mind. Okay, now our adjustments for this Y stick play. Now this play is pretty unique. This is gonna be our cover two beater, but um, I really don't know why, but it doesn't let you flip this play. So if you try to call your Y stick play in your play call menu, and you want to flip the play you hit the right trigger it actually doesn't flip the play like I'm not sure why this is so you have to run this play to the left hash but that's really not a big deal if you see you know they're running a bunch of cover two get on the left hash and then we are really gonna look for this deep route going out uh, outside now quickly I just want to go over the adjustment guys all I'll do is I would just like kind of a double slant look on the back side so usually he's running a little whip route I like to just put this outside receiver on the short side on a slant. Now our first read is going to be this outside fade route. And this is gonna be really nice guys because it is unbumpable. Now what that means, this cover two corner will not jam this player and he won't ride him down the field. He's just gonna get him, let him have a free release up the sideline and this player is just gonna be running free down the sideline. So really against cover two, keep an eye on this outside corner and just watch this. He just doesn't touch our receiver here and just lets him ride down the field untouched, rack, catch it, get up field. It is that easy against cover two. But let's watch it one more time. So here's his cover two corner right here. So before he was pressed, now he's more in off coverage, but it doesn't matter. Watch this player right here. Boom, backpedaling doesn't get hands on this player and doesn't ride him down the sideline. Fire that in, rack catch, and we are gone for a 75 yard touchdown. Okay, now I wanted to show you guys this in practice mode similar, just show you why this play is effective. So right here, we just have a normal cloud flat on the field. Now let's just run it. Now what I did in this play, guys, to show you the difference, I hot routed this guy just to a normal streak. So now he's not having that outside release fade. He's just running a normal streak up the field. The rest of the play is gonna work the exact same. And I wanna show you guys what happens. So right here, watch this corner. He's gonna press this player, then he's gonna get depth and ride him down the sideline. So that is the difference. He's gonna press him and ride him. Now when we try to throw that, he's gonna carry this player all the way over the safety day. Safe, gonna be able to get over and make a play. Okay, then going over the rest of the reads, I really like this kind of swing wheel out of the backfield from the running back. So that's kind of who I look at as my second read. Basically, we're reading this outside corner. We see too high, we see a rolled up player, so we think, okay, Okay, this could be you know a good look against cover two but right here we see him riding down the field and this is actually a match coverage so this player is in a soft squat a soft squat will actually match this player down the field so that's not going to work but what we have if everyone's dropping back like that i like to just throw it underneath to the running back and let him get up field but if everyone's just dropping back get it into the running back's hands especially like that corner's dropping back they're not going to have another flat defender there just get it in the running back's hands okay then our third read i just like either of these backside slants
that's just, you know, if this is taken away underneath, I never really throw this hitch. I find there's, you know, hook will come to him or the user's really gonna get attracted to this hitch. So really look backside out the slants, take whatever one is open. I find usually this front side slant is gonna pull the, you know, hooks down and then the backside slant will come in open behind him. So right here, we look, watch the corner on this play. So what happens? So they were in cover two, a cover two look too high. Then late he actually rolls down and brings his safety into the box. This actually looks like it probably was match coverage, but this player is gonna match this player down the field. Then we see this player jumps up to our kind of swing wheel out of the backfield. Then we see first slant is open here, but he's going to the user. So then we're gonna wait half a second longer. See how the user is coming to our first slant, but that is gonna leave our second slant coming into this window here, that second window into the middle of the field fire that in, get down, and that's a first down on third and 11. Now this play is gonna absolutely bomb our opponent over the top if they play cover three and bring their safety into the box. But if you wanna learn how to force our opponent into these looks with a glitchy RPO, you need to watch this video right here.